Hello there, 585ers. This is your weekly preview for Thursday, March the 19th. Goodness gracious, where is it going? This is the second part of Module 5. Last week, uh, we went ahead and, and uh, did the module so that we could get you finished. Um, and we had a couple of folks that came to that one, and that's fine. So we did Irresistibly Engaging last week. We looked over some of the tools that are out there. We did Buncee simulations, interactive. Uh, one of my faves is the PBS learning resources and screencasting. Uh, the thing that I hope that you took away from that was the fact that all of this is readily, readily, excuse me, readily connected to your Google Classroom. And this week, when part two, is nothing any different. And here we're looking at the tools for assessment that we can have available to us. And we're going to look at three different tools. We're going to look at the one that is a part of the Google Classroom. That is, of course, good old Google Forms. Uh, it is a very simple, easy tool to use. And I think one of the things that people do not realize about it is the power of it in to do surveys. That's one of the things I think we kind of overlook. Um, then we're going to look at Nearpod. Nearpod is the owner, I think, of assessment online right now. And it is it is a really powerful, powerful tool. We'll take our time with Nearpod. Um, I will I'll give you my access to Nearpod if you want to go in and create a class so that your Nearpod can talk directly back to your Google Classroom, you feel right ahead, go ahead and do that. Same thing for uh, Edpuzzle. Uh, Edpuzzle at one time was called Play Posit, and that's what this was down here. We don't do it anymore. Edpuzzle is a favorite, favorite tool of mine for the simple reason that it allows me to do some amazing things with helping kids understand content, giving them a chance to not only see content from a different point of view, uh, YouTube, although YouTube is not the only one that you can use in Edpuzzle, as you will see. Uh, but it also allows me, as the instructor, to have a way to talk to my students about what it is that's in whatever they're looking at, the multimedia they're looking at. So, I look forward to seeing you on Thursday. As always, if you have any questions, comments, concerns, do not hesitate to give me a shout out at 502 457 2937.